Hello everyone, I recently made the launching wheel for my bow. Here's how I launched the bow with it. I like this little inflatable bow a lot as I can feed everything in my mini van including my family. And we have taken it to many rivers and lakes this summer. Great fun with it. So the first step is to set up the wheels to help me unload the bow. Now I only DIY this wheel because I have most of the material already available from other projects. You should know that there are similar launching wheels kits available. I think in some cases it's probably more simple to use those kits. The PVC roller bar I built is to provide quick support when taking the bow in and out of the van so the bow will not rub and scratch the paint on the bumper. I just like this new launching wheel. As you can see, the wheel makes unloading the bow very easy. Okay, here comes the fun part. I have partially pre-installed the hub 4 at home and now all I need is to install the last pieces of the 4 board. This usually is the most difficult part when setting up this kind of boat. So here's my trick. Notice the D-ring that I have installed on the 4 board and tied it with a small rope. I use the rope to pull tight the 3 aluminum boards to make the final installation easier. The D-ring also added a lot of mounting flexibility to my little boat. One good feature of this boat is the aluminum flooring. The fact that I can stand on the boat for fishing and feel safe is a big plus for me. I'm not sure a boat with air flooring will allow you to do that. Okay. After some pulling and wiggling, the last would fit in nicely. Trust me, if you don't have this rope to pull on, it's about 10 times harder to install, especially setting it up in the ram under the pressure. But, uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> the only trick you have is get the D-ring, get a rope so you can hold the free aluminum board tight. I do like the aluminum board, a four board, uh, because I feel that's more safe. And I can stand up on it easy on the water. But you gotta put in that one, yeah? Now it's the easiest part. Just need to use my little pump to inflate the boat now. This is the easiest part of the setup. I could use the trolling motor batteries, but um, I think this is easier to move around when you are trying to set it up. Make sure the pump is off. Double check. So all good. Make sure the wires are closed.
Alright guys, that's how I launched my inflatable bow. The whole setup and launch process taking me about 20 something minutes today because I was filming. Usually take me about 10 something minutes all by myself, which is actually pretty good. If you have a aluminum flooring bowl just like mine, D-ring with rope tips should make your life much easier during the setup. Locking down the launching wheel before inflating your bowl also makes things simple. Now for the DIY launching wheel, I do like this launching wheel design, it makes things simple in multiple ways. As I mentioned, I only build it because I have some of the parts already. I think I spent it about 30 something dollar on the parts, and uh, just a lot of cutting, sanding, measuring, and make it work. I estimate it may cost you around 50 something material if you're gonna go buy all the parts for this DIY build. So uh, you may consider buying a kit instead. I think it costs about around 100 or something. I think it will save you a lot of time on all the cutting, sanding, and matching things together. Alright, thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Hit the like button, it will really motivate me. Please leave me some comments, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again, see you later. Check out this beautiful lake. They have great fishing here. Totally underrated.